Well, I just quickly show you uh, how it works on the internet, how easy setup it is, okay? So uh, there's no port forwarding or anything like this. So you can see the back of these uh, DPR. I've collected an internet cable, which is Ethernet cable, so I'll just take this out quickly show you. So Ethernet cable from the back of the router, we've got another room, so I basically plug it in at the back of this. And basically you can see I've got the HDMI cable so and so, and also the actual uh, the camera plugs, as I showed in the first video, I put it in correctly, now it's all on. Let's move into the action, I've got connected, I've got a USB uh, uh, basically a uh, mouse which comes in the content like I showed in the first video. So if you were to go on the actual screen, uh, quickly show you, this is the uh, message that comes on, cloud enabled text, just leave it text. With this one all of you prompted, just take that as well and press OK. OK, if I right click, then you go to main menu, then it asks for a password, we don't need a password, it comes in default username admin, no, no password, uh, press OK. I'll go to info to see the information, then we'll go to version. OK, in here it says already connected. However, if this is not connected like this, you've got to do a couple of setup. Okay? If it's, it could say probing DNS, which is P R O B I N G DNS, probing DNS. If it says something like that, or it says anything other than net state is connected, you got to come back out. Okay? If it's crossed out, right click, main menu, then you go to, go to system, then you go to network, then you take DHCP enable. You press OK. OK, then you come here, then you go to Net Services, then you double click on ARSP. OK, then you make sure this enable box is ticked, is ticked, and make sure this is 15,000 the port. OK, and you press OK. Then you press OK again to come out. Uh, we are done here. Let's see if that's what it takes. So if I ask you to cross that off, Right click, main menu, go to info, version is connected. So uh, now what you got to do is basically keep the screen open and uh, just, or take note of the serial number, you can see the serial number here right now. So I'll keep the screen open and if I call my mobile phone right now. So, no way, you can see the password, that's absolutely fine. Uh, first you go on Play Store. You have to download an app called VMI Cloud. We will send you a written script where you can actually see how it's done. It's easier to see the video really. So if I was to click on this, you can see I've already got this installed. So I'll simply open. And if you go on iPhone, this is an Android phone. If you go on iPhone, it will be VMI Cloud Lite, L-I-T-E. Okay, so I've come on this screen, uh, it says by user in here, but I'd like to go by device. Every time you open, you go by device, I'd like to click add. Then, this device name is my DVR. Well, if you buy for the house, you can put my house, or for office, my office, which will be like. Connection, I'll leave this as default P2P. It's got other connections, but I'll just leave it as P2P. Serial number, that serial number you can see on the screen right now. Okay, this is serial number, 43. So if I was to put the serial number in here, which would be uh, 434C416, four, four, well, I will actually uh, erase the serial number so if you sell this device to someone else they can't basically no one else can get access to these cameras right I usually leave your admin and password as default blank but you can always set a password at a later stage on the DVI and use the same password in here uh, which you can do at later so maximum channel this DVI is 4 channel leave it as 4 press done uh, cloud I'll have to make sure this is all ticked green okay and just press ok and it's done so if I was to press on here that's it, they should connect now comfortably. So this is connecting. It should start buffering. It depends on your network signal as well, how strong the signal is. 
If it's 4G, absolutely perfect, spot on. If it's Wi-Fi, great. And you can do the same thing on tablet or anything like that. See, it's all on now. I've only got one camera up just for demonstration purpose. It is just one camera up and it's playing right now, okay? Uh, the time is incorrect because we just basically use it for demonstration, but you can see the time is matching in here, which is 23.25 uh, on the 7th of the 9th. And if you go on the monitor, you can see that time is 23.26, what it just changed. So there you go, it's the live uh, action. So that's how simple it is. So if we were to go back on your phone, it started again, I'll just find where is uh, VMI Clouds. Um, I have to see why I installed it on my phone. I've got a lot of apps in here, so I've got VMI Cloud in here. Okay, it started. It's default by user, but let's go by device. Just press on that. Boom, it's on again. So connecting, you should be fair, then basically start playing. That's how it, how it goes. So if you just see it's connecting, because I'm on 3 network, that's how it is. But if you go on 4G, that'll be perfect. That's it. We are done. That's how easy it was. If you need any help, we are always here to help. Thank you very much.